it's January 2018, 3 a.m. in the morning, and I'm sitting in my southeast London bedroom, spiraling out of control because the country of my birth is collapsing. I've just lost my mother. My father's lungs are failing. He's going to need a double lung transplant soon to keep him alive. And I've got my second-born son strapped to my chest. He's barely a week old, and the world he's just been born into has stopped making any sense to me. Now, this is how Psalms for the End of the World began for me as an inquiry into the nature of reality in this multiverse of, of anxiety and terror that had taken up residence inside my chest, and I think has also come to define the 21st century for so many. Psalms quickly grew into a mosaic novel that spanned what we perceive to be time and space. As you read it, you're going to meet a lonely boy in post-war London who encounters a man from the future, an artist in pre-revolutionary France whose paintings drive people mad, a would-be suicide bomber in Sydney who has become lost in time, a tech billionaire seeking the ultimate answers to life's mysteries, a Japanese astronaut who can't shake the feeling she's trapped in a reality slowly coming undone, a suicidal man haunted by dreams of his own death who must confront their source, a Hollywood screenwriter whose imagination might actually be changing reality. And at its heart is a central driving narrative focused on Robert Jones, a wrong man ripped from an Alfred Hitchcock film on the run in 1962, trying to prove his innocence to what amount to be cosmic forces, and Grace Polanski, a Caltech physics student who has recklessly fallen in love with Jones. Jones, a man who might be a mass murdering terrorist, but who might also be her best chance to discover the true nature of the universe. Psalms for the End of the World is a sprawling, high concept, time jumping, reality bending novel to say the least, about grief and love and how maybe just maybe human beings are more important to the integrity of the universe than even gravity. I hope you enjoy it.